This morning what we're doing is we're just throwing a little Z-Man frog around. The main reason why I use the chin locks is because it suits Z-Mans pretty well because obviously they're designed for them. It's got this little weight at the front so that obviously keeps it from sliding down and also when you pause it it kind of just goes really really slow drop so fish that are not like 100% on a surface lure that are going to just come out at 100 miles an hour to attack it, that little drop can be the difference. Oh, he came off. Oh, you f idiot. You idiot. Oh, why'd you put your hand on the spool? <sighs> Jesus. That gets you going in the morning. my hand on the spool for that fish and it just pushed popped it out they got such little like no teeth but they got fragile mouths as soon as you put any pressure on them once they hook it just pops it it's cool seeing an area after a flood because then you can see the new snags the areas where there's some good current pushing out you kind of get an idea for the place as well even when it's low level in there second blow up so they are liking the surface a little bit but getting them to stick is going to be the question I'm going to use this shade to my advantage as soon as the sun starts to pop out I'll probably go down if you've watched my videos you know that I love a top water so just gonna keep throwing that see if I can make it happen just one on top would be cool pretty sure this is pretty shallow but it's still worth a shot There he is, got him. Oh no. Uh oh. Don't you, don't you, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare, don't you dare. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Yes. Oh, he's gonna wreck me. He's a decent bass. He's a decent bass. Uh oh. I'm in all sorts of trouble. He's a decent ass. Oh. Oh. There he is. That's what we came here for. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. All right. He had me there for a while. I'm going to have to probably change my leader out. Six pound bloody deadly. Oh yeah, he's a nice bass. Nice creek bass. 
just absolutely hammered that little frog. But this is a brute bass. That is so cool. Look at him. Beautiful bass. He was about 35 or so, so so healthy as well. That is so cool. Such an awesome fish. Alright, I think he's ready to go. There you go, bud. Ready? Off you go. Oh, we've been going for about an hour and uh God, that gets the adrenaline rushing. I literally, you would have seen the footage back there. The first hit was about 100 meters away, but that second hit that you just saw was literally a tree that's crossed the way. So I reckon I'm gonna throw the top water for a little bit more and uh, see how we go. Man, I've been struggling with jacks uh, for the last couple of months and getting a couple of hits and bust offs and stuff, but not landing one. So getting a bass of that size in such skinny water is so, so cool. So see how we go. All right, well, I've had a shit, a shower, a shave, I've even had a sleep. I even managed to fit in a haircut as well. But now it's the afternoon, same day, so we're just gonna hit the same creek up again. Uh, we've got about two hours or so until it gets dark. It's still a bit overcast, which is cool, so I might throw my frogs around. I'll see how we go. Petey's gonna be me uh, meeting up with us soon, so that'll be cool. And um, see if we can crank on some more bass. See how we go. So with the finesse frogs, all we've got here is we've just got a little setup here. This is my Abu Garcia Veritas, one to three kilo, and the Stratic 1000. And I've got six pound braid, eight pound uh, mono, so that it floats. And my little finesse frog is with a little 2-0 hook, uh, the chin locks. But all it is is just a slow wind, like so. You get those little legs kicking. And the good thing about them, is you can skip cast it, um, you can let them pause, so it's almost like a subsurface as well. But generally, is the coolest way to do it is just casting it out and then just winding it back, and just waiting for that buff. As you saw this morning, we had those heaps of those little buffs from the frog. Don't you do it, Stumpy? Uh oh. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Oh no. I'm in danger. No, I think the stumpy's going away. I think I'm just going to throw the frog. There's a bass we just not flying again. That was a bass. Probably wasn't, but I'm calling it a bass. I'm getting confident. Because the noise is deafening in here. There he is. Oh! There he is. That was sick. There he is. Mate, worth it. That was awesome. Oh. That's it. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh, the grind. There we go. Beautiful bass. You can probably hear those cicadas going. <laughs> That's so cool. Right on dark. There you go, bud. Get the, Get the net! I got it, I got him. I... Here you go, sir. Yes! Oh! <laughs> Mate, he's the same size. Yeah, that's sick. There you go. That's sick, bro. Good little fish. On the little cicada, eh? Good damage on him, but yeah. Yeah, big paws. Later, boat. He's my friend. Shit, yeah. Perfect.